I know a lot about advertising and digital agency websites and their online presence. When I'm conducting an agency review, I check out a lot of websites, that's for sure. When I'm helping agencies find great talent, I check out their websites and their LinkedIn game. When they need to outsource digital development, I connect them with my partner in Buenos Aires. When I hunt for agencies, I check out their online game because in the new normal, clients will definitely do a Google search on you. We all know that agencies admit that they are cobbler's children when it comes to marketing themselves. I have blogged about that in the past. Most don't listen. They say I know, but they rarely change. Change is hard in business and in life. If I worked that way, I'd be sleeping on a park bench. Today, that I, f I find that agency websites have improved. Why? Technology made them do it. So most agency websites are now responsive to provide an optimum viewing experience across a wide range of devices. Agency websites are now more mobile friendly. They did that to please the god of Google, to make sure their site doesn't lag in Google searches. But agencies still make mistakes. While agencies converted their sites, most adapted but did not change and think about how interfacing with them on multiple devices has altered the game. The internal brief was probably, let's make our site responsive. Few agencies spend as much time on their sites as they do on their client sites, and that can be a mistake. I've often felt that the way agencies invite prospects to connect is lame. I can't believe the number of agencies responsive websites that still say fill out this form to connect with us on their, on their site. Do you think I'm going to do that when I'm driving and looking at my phone? I want to connect with you quickly. Where is the name of a new business person or their email or the cell phone so I can connect right away? I am always happy when agencies post their social media logos on their site. I have done that for years on my salutation, my blogs, my business card, and on my site. Getting in touch easily is the key in the new business game. However, I see some agencies that only have a Twitter or a Facebook icon on their websites. Where is LinkedIn? Would I tweet you an RFP? I want to connect with their leadership, and that is easier on LinkedIn. As the game gets better, most agencies want to move up the food chain and catch bigger fish but they also make themselves look small often. If I see a BNI or a Chamber of Commerce logo on your site, does that make me think that you're a big time player? I think not. Most agencies today should hopefully have a LinkedIn corporate page. One mistake that I often see is that they often exaggerate their company size. On their LinkedIn page, they can list their number of employees, and they do. Then you check how many employees they have on LinkedIn and it doesn't add up. Now, hype is the last thing I look for when I'm doing a review. Clients don't pay me for that. One thing agencies can count on in the new normal is the power of total transparency. I have seen agency profiles that say that their agency has 35 employees. Then I look and see that 123 people work or have worked there. That would tell me that they're an agency where I shouldn't go. It's a sign of a revolving door. In the end, we all know you can't be perfect with your internet presence. But then again, if you're an agency telling your clients you will make them perfect, you can't compromise.